the absolute best German food. Let's take a look. Willkommen. My name is Sean Huggins and this is React with Hugs. I want to see how he reacts when he thinks no one's watching. I can't help it if he's weird. He's American. He's going crazy with that work. Everybody reacts differently. I think he's weird, but that's me. He's American, you know. Welcome to React with Hugs. Let's hop straight into today's comment of the day. So today's comment of the day comes from Leo Skip. And they say, to be fair, most of the time I do indeed pack bread. Dude, I can't tell if you guys are joking about this or not, but do Germans really pack loaves of bread to go on vacation? Because I've got comments that say that people actually do that and I'm a little bit concerned now. Like, do you put loaves of bread in your suitcases when you're going to vacation? Because <laughs> that's wild if you do. <laughs> Anyways, Leo Skip, thank you for the comment. Let's hop into today's reaction. All right, so the best German food. Ooh, this should be interesting. Let's see if I've ever heard of any of these or if there's any that I have never tried before. As always, you guys are encouraged to leave your favorite foods in the comments below. What do you guys think? What's the best food in all of Germany? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious what you have to say. So, at any rate, let's hop straight into it. Los Gates. Hey there, fellow hungry travelers. Mark here with Walter's World. And today we're gonna to talk about the hey. eats of Germany, or more like the most Germany German things that you should have when you're here. And you know what? We've got to the start most off Germany, with German the things. most German of the Germaniness, the sausages, the Wurst. Yes, Ooh. there are lots and lots of bratwurst when you're here. There's lots and lots of sausage you can... That's definitely my favorite. <laughs> that is my number one as well, for sure. <laughs> wow, look at all those sausages. Dude, look at all the different kinds. Holy crap, I have not tried almost all of those different kinds. <laughs> That's for sure. Huh? What is it? You're gonna have to watch the reaction to find out. Wow, look at all those different sausages. That is amazing. You can have when you're here, and you're gonna have a lot, and you well should. Whether you're me, or you're my mom, or my kids, sausages ray when you're here. And probably the most important one to have is the Thuringer Bratwurst. So the Thuringer uh -huh. Bratwurst is just a type of bratwurst that you'll see on the street. People will be selling it in little stands, or they might see a person oh. like carrying it all like. A Dude, what? What the frick is this? <laughs> What is this contraption that this guy has? Dude, a hot dog stand not on wheels, on foot. A hot dog stand on feet. That is insane. <laughs> I've never seen that before. In a backpack and they're cooking it in front of them. What? But that is the definition of a perfect bratwurst. Now, what's cool is sometimes you can get it at a half meter size, okay? So that can be a bit crazy, but... A half meter long bratwurst? What the frick? Dude, I need that for sure. Thuringer bratwurst, that is your traditional bratwurst that you're used to and you know and that you're going to love with some zen, some mustard on top. Now, there are a lot of other wurst, a lot of other sausages when you're here. If you're down in Bavaria in the south, there's Weisswurst or white sausage, which is Weisswurst really, really good. And they Duke. serve that with a sweet mustard and a pretzel, which is very nice. Mm. Now, if you're down in Nuremberg, Nuremberg's famous for the Nuremberger sausages or the Nuremberger wurst. And the thing is, is you might recognize a Nuremberger sausage when you see it because it looks like a breakfast link sausage. Uh-huh. Ooh, breakfast sausages are very tasty. I need to try that one now. Okay. And the thing is, they're small and they're tiny. And if you go to Nuremberg, you need a plate, and they'll actually give you like a plate of 30 of them. What? But if you're walking around and have oh it, they'll God. give you a little roll with three or four inside with some mustard. That's a great oh. way to go, especially in Nuremberg. That is a must when you're there. And if you're in Berlin, you probably have the most popular one that's become like a super trend snack in Germany and other places around the it? world. You have Currywurst, which is... Ah, uh, yes, of course, Currywurst. Everyone knows Currywurst. Curry sausage. Now, you may think, oh, it's a curry bratwurst. I'm like, no, it's a normal bratwurst. Yeah. But what they do is they put curry spices into ketchup and make it a curry ketchup. And what they do is they chop it up and then they drown it in the curry ketchup. I do like curry verst. I've had that before and I do like it. Then again, so far, I haven't met a verst I don't like. So you put some verst in front of my face, it's going in my mouth. 
That's all I'm gonna say. But with some fries, it's fantastic. And honestly, if you're looking for some food thing to take back home from Germany, yeah. get some curry ketchup and take it home with you because that stuff mm. is the bomb. And sometimes you can actually find the good stuff at Aldi back in the US. So there is oh, that for you. Now, cool. if you're looking for more of your traditional like hot dog kind of sausage though, there's a different, lot of different names, a lot of different things that kind of go on there. But the closest one you're gonna find is either a Frankfurter or a Bockwurst, okay? Those are two ones that are the, I feel like they resemble the close. <laughs> Damn, that's a huge hot dog. <laughs> that's awesome. This is to a hot dog or a Vienna Wurst, or a Viennese sausage. You'll see those as well, but basically on the street, your sausage choice is gonna be that Tunger Bratwurst. That's gonna be your go-to walk around snack oh. kind of thing. I chose the wrong day to skip breakfast. I'll just say that. Great, great, uh, great street food here in Germany, okay? Now, moving away from our sausages, because you know, Germans eat more than sausage, I think. Yes, they do. They eat a lot <laughs> of pork as well, and you will see pork, pork, and more pork when you're here. You can get a Whoa. pork steak, schwein steak. That's a, a popular cut of meat. But one that you'll see probably the most is actually schnitzel, and I know. Oh, dude. Okay, yeah. I've had schnitzel before, too. Obviously, gotta have schnitzel. That's probably my second favorite behind Wurst. That might be all that I know for German food. Maybe potato salad. Kartoffensalat. You no, know, when you have schnitzel, traditionally schnitzel is made out of... Hey, don't look at this. You have to wait for the reaction. Veal. But here in Germany, veal's more expensive, and so you have a lot of He's just trying to get... <laughs> He's just trying to sneak... A sneak peek of the reaction. You have to wait for, like everyone else. You don't get special privileges. See? Mm -hmm. Do you see what I do for you guys, my subscribers? I don't give anyone special privileges. You have to wait like everyone else, young lady. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Wow, look at this schnitzel. This is so amazing looking. Oh my god, it looks so tasty. I caught you! It was a trap and I caught you. I give you... Pork schnitzel. Well, they act, sometimes you see chicken schnitzel, but it'll be a pork schnitzel, which is the pork just beaten to a flattened thing. They bread yep. it and fry it. It is super good. And there's a lot of different schnitzels you can have. Ooh, I've had it with the sauce before like that. I like that a lot. I like that style. My personal favorite is Jäger schnitzel, which has mushrooms and cream sauce on Dude. top. Oh, me too. So good. So good. You can't go wrong with that. Other pork things you might want to have when you're here. When you go around, you might see a thing called frikadelle. Um, which is basically, Whoa. I would call it a meatball sandwich. Frikadellen? Frikadellen? I have never heard of that one. I've never seen that one, and I've never tried that one. That looks good, though. Looks like a hamburger. That you'll see the same place that sell you, like, the currywurst and the bratwurst. They'll have those there. But the most important pork product here in Germany for me is Schweinhaxe. Or basically, you're calling it, like, pork Whoa. shoulder or pork knuckle. You'll see that on there. Dude! Dude, that looks like the freaking renaissance fair type of stuff. <laughs> That's awesome looking. And if you ever played a video game and they gave you like the ham hock kind of thing where it's the bone and the meat on it and it gives you all your energy back, that's what it is. And when you have one, <laughs> you understand. And there's different ways you can have it. If you're in Berlin, they'll call it ice fine and it's like boiled, okay? But if you're in other parts, they put it on a grill and roast it around and the... I think I would rather the grilled version than the boiled version fat and the skin on the outside gets all crispy and so good oh you have to have it like that is my go-to okay and in certain places you can get schäufle which is kind of a similar cut as well you'll see that we've had that a lot in bomberg but you don't see it all over the place so schweinhaxen haxen go for it now okay. other meat dishes you might see there is beef is here as well you can get sauerbraten which basically says sour roasting but basically it's a long cooked piece of meat which is nice also you can get like a meatloaf Never had that one either. It a rolled up beef, uh, rind, rindroladen, which is basically. Oh, dude, this is blowing my mind right now. I've never even heard of any of these things. Look at this thing. It's a freaking meat cone. That's awesome. Basically, beef rolled up with some stuff. That's actually a nice Whoa. thing to have. I see that a lot on some like lunch menus. It's very popular around the country. But there, there, there's plenty of meats. There's also plenty of fish you can have when you're here as well. Um, but I think one of the other things that's important when you're here is the bread, okay? And yes, you can have a pretzel, a pretzel. And of course, you want to dip this in mustard, by the way, when you're here. It's so good. And if you're having a big old beer, <sighs> goes together perfectly. 
So you have that. Okay. But you'll notice around Germany, there's tons and tons of bakeries because they make fantastic breads. And mornings, breakfasts for you when you're here, you're gonna have these little rolls. Okay, they're called Brotkin, which is little bread or Zemmel, depending where you are and what kind of German they speak. And you'll have different kinds, like plain white bread versions. So you have multi-grain versions. My mom's favorite is this one that has uh, pumpkin seeds on what? the top of it. Dude, that one on the left looks like it's molding. <laughs> is it moldy? What the frick? Like, we search it out when we come to Germany, don't we, Mom? Like, to find it, because it's so good. But you'll have that. And I got to warn you, when you have breakfast in Germany, it is going to be the rolls, and then you're going to have cold cuts, like ham, cheese, salami, and slices of cheese, and probably hard-boiled or soft-boiled eggs. Like, that's traditional German breakfast. Gotta be honest, not my favorite breakfast. I am more of a eggs and bacon and toast kind of guy, personally. Like, that's what you're going to have. And it's funny, because when Germans travel to the U.S., a lot of times they'll complain to the hoteliers, we don't want pancakes and eggs and bacon. We want our Scheibe. We want our you know, ham and cheese cuts with our bread. So just be aware of that when you're here at restaurants and yeah. you're staying at hotels. Okay. And if you want to try some for breakfast that's a little more cereal based, go for the muesli. It's that mix of, like muesli. you look at it and you're like, I'm going to be regular today after I eat this. Okay. So you have that. Yogurt's also very popular to have at breakfast time, so you do have that. But going back to the bread stuff, also if you go to the bakeries, you'll see they'll have all these pre-cut pieces of cake of all different kinds, okay? Oh, now we're talking my language. Oh, yes. Okay, and I know we're here in the Freiburg, which is in the Black Forest. You might think, oh, Black Forest cake. I'm like, yes, there is that. But for me, if you can get any kind of fruit cakes, not like fruit cake like you get at Christmas, but it's a cake that has a fruit topping on it, that's always wonderful. Germany is also great with Pfannkuchen, which are basically different kinds of fried dough with powdered sugar on it. And whatever size and form you can get it, get it because they're amazing. And you have that. And the thing is, the bakeries are all over the country. You can grab stuff all during the day, have it for a snack. If you've got your kids, I recommend if you're pushing around in a stroller, go get them a Boltkin. Get them a roll. They'll gnaw on that for a couple hours while you go see the sights. So that's really nice. Okay. And honestly, you can never go wrong with a good apple strudel, right? Oh, yes. I love apple strudel. Oh my God, look at that. With the ice cream, that could be my number one dessert right there in all of Germany. That might be, I don't know. I don't know. That looks so good. So you have that. Now, looking to the side dishes, which I think <laughs> are very important because for me, the side dishes here in Germany are some of the best things you have. Because you have, you know, traditional kartoffel salat. Yes. That's my favorite for sure. Can't take the potatoes away from me. Give me something that's potatoes and I'm gonna like it. And Kartoffensalat is the best. Potato salad and the very different versions they have it here. Yeah. Sometimes you'll have it warm. Sometimes you'll have it cold. Sometimes you just want it all. You have that. You might have all these different versions of potatoes on the side. There's one that's called Bauenkartoffeln, which is like uh, farmer's potatoes. Oh, those look so good. Oh, dang, I gotta try those. Which basically, they're kind of sliced up and then kind of, not they're fried, not like French fries, but they're like fried up in a pan, which is really good. A little little speck, a little bacon in there. That's wonderful. Also, you can look in for, for the noodles. Spätzle. Spätzle is a special kind of German noodle you'll have, and you can have it plain, or you can have Käse Spätzle, which is cheese Spätzle. Oh, that is a great side dish. I know some people enjoy... I think that that is Isa's favorite, Kässpätzle. Yep, it's her favorite. The knödel, which are dumplings. Knödel. And the thing is, you can have potato dumplings, you can have Whoa. bread dumplings. Whoa. Um, you can actually have liver dumpling. Like liver what the frick? I've never seen these before either. Dude, I gotta try these as well. Liver dumpling soup is actually really good for a starter. You can do that. And in Germany and well, as well is when it's different seasons, different like veggies are in season, you can get so much. Like when strawberry season's and there's a great things there. Or we're here now during Spargel season, uh, asparagus season, white asparagus. Oh my gosh. If you're here and they have asparagus, eat it. The Germans love it and they'll be mad if you don't have some. So definitely check that out when you're here. I've never had white asparagus. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Here? But let's be honest. What's the side dish we all know about from Germany? Sauerkraut. Yes, you can get Ooh. sauerkraut when you're here. And if you're not a big sauerkraut fan, my mom and I, we're not the biggest sauerkraut fans. We're actually big on rotkohl, which is that purple cabbage. Oh, I've had that before, too. That's good, but I, I prefer the sauerkraut still. That sweet purple cabbage with some apples in it. Oh, so good and so regular making, if you catch my drift. 
And then we have our drinks here in Germany. And obviously the beer is a big thing here. But you have to realize there's lots of different kinds of beer. This is a Weizen beer or a wheat beer I have. You can get Pilsner beers, which are more like the beers you have in the US, like a Budweiser kind of like clear beer. Um, then you have Schwarz beer, black beer, which is a little bit sweet, like a in the Guinness family. It's what the frick? I need to try those. I haven't tried that before. Fantastic. And Kostrotze is a fantastic beer to have. Um, you could have, well, well, actually what I should tell you is don't buy any beer specifically from Germany. When you're traveling around Germany, buy the local beer. So if you're in Berlin, you have Berliner Kindle. If you're here in Freiburg, you have Ganta. If you're in Bremen, you'll have Bex. I'm like, People are very much regional beer drinkers here, and you'll notice the difference. That's why when people ask, what's the national beer of Germany? Yeah, they're not, I mean, Vosteiner maybe, or Bex, that's one that's all over the place. But people really have their local beer when you're here. So do that and have that, because. I got no problem with that. I try all the local beers everywhere I go. <laughs> If you get the local Altbier, like in, in Dusseldorf, it's going to be very different. That's what people like to drink there. Versus if you're up in Flensburg and having Flensburg and Pils in the north of Germany, okay? So something to be aware of. But what you need to realize, for alcohol, beer is not the only alcohol in Germany. There's actually a lot of... What? Germany has more than just beer? Are you serious? Great wine when you're here. If you go to the Mosul or Whoa. the Rhine Valleys, you can do wine tours there and go. I mean, it's so much fun. You get to learn about the wine, have the food to go along with it. It's a fantastic experience. I've taken students there. I've done by myself there. I've done my parents there, my kids there. But the wine, it's white wine is the best here. Riesling, it can be sweet or dry. There's a lot of different versions of it, but that's the wine you want to have when you're here. Also, okay. you can have what's called Apfelschule. And this is a non-alcoholic drink. Yes, there are non-alcoholic drinks here in Germany, okay? What? Non-alcoholic drinks in Germany? Isn't that verboten? Apfelschorle is basically take really good apple juice and put bubble water with it. That's what you have. Oh, this is like, this is, if you're hot in the summer, this is the refreshing thing that changes the day. So you want to have that. Also, you may wonder, Mark, can Never you drink the water in Germany? Yes, you can drink the water in Germany. How do you think they make such good beer? Duh. And one thing is you can drink the okay. tap water just fine. The locals, though, they like to have Wasser mit Gas, water with gas. So they like their bubble. That's true. I am not a gas kind of guy, though, personally. Bubble water when they're here. So be prepared for that. If you just order water, they probably might bring you just bubble water. So you might want to ask for, you know, Wasser ohne Gas, water without gas, or stilles Wasser, still water and that'll help you out there. And with all this heavy food, yeah. you might wonder, Mark, how am I gonna like be able to sleep at night? How am I gonna die? Mark, how am I gonna sleep at night? How am I gonna digest all of this heavy food that I've been eating all day? Do you have any tips for me? Digest. Well, what's great is there's two great, well, there's actually more, but there's two popular digestives oh, great. here in Germany that Unfortunately, in the U.S., one of them has become more of a college drunk shot, but Jägermeister and Unterberger, those are two shots that honestly, if you have one of those heavy fat meals and you're like, oh, I feel horrible, have a shot of Jägermeister or have the little bottle of, of, of Unterberger and it really does help your stomach digest and you'll feel better really quickly. I didn't believe it, but I've huh? had enough experience now that I totally do believe it because I had some bad experience with Jägermeister back in college. So I tried to... So Jägermeister is medicine in Germany. Hmm, very interesting. Food avoided, but I was so full one day, my buddy gave me a shot and I'm like, after five minutes, I'm like, hey, I feel good again. So <laughs> maybe you're just drunk. <laughs> I hope this helps you know some of the things you can eat when you're here in Germany. If you're looking for some more international fare or non things people don't think that's typical German, there's so much international food here in Germany. You can eat great Spanish food, great Italian food, because Germans really love food from all around the world. Great Indian food, obviously uh, great Turkish food when you're here. You have a lot of Turkish immigration here. Probably the one thing you'll see the most that people have are doner kebabs. That's like my oh, go-to yeah. uh, snack when I'm, I'm out. If I want to- Doner kebabs are the best. Obviously they're the best. Everyone knows that they're the best. I have something on the go. It's you know the, the bread in there with the sliced up meat and the veggies and the sauce. Oh, Koitz is also mm, so good. That's one well, of you had a few drinks. It's a good thing to finish off your night to sober you up and help you sleep and have wonderful dreams of Germany. So I hope this helps you know some of the things you can eat and enjoy when you're here in Germany. Obviously, there are so many more fantastic foods and snacks here in Germany. Please put in the comment section below so we can have more fun foods to talk about and enjoy when we're in Germany or other travelers are there. Wow, okay. 
you guys know the deal. What's your favorite food? Drop it in the comments. What's the best food in all of Germany? Let me know down below. For me, my favorite food is probably Leberkäse or maybe some sort of Wurst, obviously, or Döner, kebabs, or I guess any any type of meat or beer. Meat or beer. Those are those are my two favorites. So, yeah, let me know what your guys' favorite dishes are down below as well. At any rate, though, that's all the time that I have for today. Thank you guys so much for being here, and as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.